In this video, I'm going to cover my investment thesis and the three top things that I invest my money on. And I truly think that this is the most profitable and highest leverage way to invest your money for every single digital entrepreneur who is making under a million dollars a month. I get a lot of questions about this. Yo, Lev, should I buy some crypto or real estate or whatever it might be? And I think all of those things are great, but I have never invested into any of those things. The way I look at investing money is a bit different. And I truly believe that if I hadn't done these things, I wouldn't be where I am at right now. Also, as a quick side note, I'm not an investment pro or professional by any means. So these are just things that have worked extremely well for me and I have seen them work extremely well for a lot of people. But please always use your own judgment when investing money into anything. Pretty much my investment thesis is that I only want to invest my money into things where I have the highest level of control on the performance of the investment and the highest return possible. Right now, I'm not looking to make this quote unquote passive income because I'm I'm just optimizing for growth and making as much money as I can. And I'm not really optimizing for time efficiency. So yeah, I know that there's a lot of investments you can make to create that passive income and wealth in the background, but I don't think that that is the best thing for me to do right now, because I really just want to invest in things where I can control the things, get the highest leverage return possible, even though it might take me a bit of extra time. So to get into it, the first thing where I invest my money is our theme and our team's well-being. So a lot of people don't really realize how important your team is when building a business. Of course, in the beginning stages, you won't have a theme and you probably won't have a lot of money to invest in your team. But I have just noticed that in the past few years, the team that we work with has been an extremely, extremely important factor for everything. Because as an entrepreneur, if you're always working alone, first of all, you have to do a lot of stuff yourself. Like if you do all the smallest things and time consuming things and the manual repetitive tasks, you're first of all, just pretty much spending your time unprofitably. So I really like to focus on actually investing into our team, hiring new team members. And when I hire, I wanna hire the best people possible. There's this saying that I can't even remember where I heard it, but if you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. And that is true. A lot of people are trying to hire the most cost efficient team member possible into their team. But what that usually results in is you get someone who isn't really that motivated, they're not really committed, they don't really have skills. You just end up spending more time on training and managing them than they are actually saving time for you. So yeah, we are really focused on just investing and getting the best killers into our team, like actual A1 Terminators. Usually those people are way better at the things that they do than I am. So our business grows by just putting them into the team. And also it is just way more enjoyable to work with actually motivated and talented people. We also like to invest in our team's well-being. For example, we are hosting a live event for our customers who are in our flagship program, ageofvelocity.io. We are hosting a live event for them in a few weeks. So pretty much we are flying out our whole fulfillment team for that event, paying for them, paying for their flights, paying for a really nice hotel rooms, good suites, and really to just get them here for a few extra days to be able to spend a little bit of time face to face, just brainstorming and actually meeting and getting to know these people even better. Also, if there are any tools or any workflows or anything that we can pay for that is going to make the work of our team easier, we are always going to make that investment as long as it's nothing crazy. If you want to build something great, if you want to build something huge and enjoyable, you need to have good people and you won't get good people in their team who are actually motivated and commitment to work in your company if you don't pay them well and if you don't take care of their well being. So the second thing that I like to invest my money in is knowledge and health. I'm a huge fan of buying courses, buying consulting, buying coaching programs, paying for mentorships, paying for masterminds and all of that stuff. Because if you're always looking to do everything by yourself, you're just losing time. Like a lot of people, they're super scarce about money. They see money as this super rare and scarce thing. When you finally have money, you should like gather it and not spend it and save it up. But that's not at least in my opinion true. Money is something that you can always get more. There is pretty much an unlimited amount of money to make in the world, but there's never more time. Time is the only thing that you can't get more of. When I spend this minute or this second or this 30 minutes to record this video, that is time that I'm never going to get back. So if I'm able to spend money into doing something more efficiently and getting something faster or just better, making less mistakes, in a lot of cases, I'm always going to make that investment. In the past 12 months, I have spent way over $100,000 into coaches and consulting and different courses and mentorships. I just hired a performance cycle 
psychologist. I'm trying to see if that helps me a lot with my performance and my clarity and my thinking, etc. So I just spent a lot of money on a performance psychologist. We have worked a really long time with an operational consultant who helps us build our operations. I have paid tens of thousands of dollars to learn how to write sales letters, how to do content. That is, in my opinion, one of the highest leverage things that you can pay money for. Because whatever happens in the world, no one can ever take away your skills. Like your bank accounts can't get closed. The government can take away your business if they really want to and if there really is a reason. You can lose your team, you can lose your company, you can lose everything. But the only thing that can't be taken away from you is knowledge. So if you are actually able to pay money for knowledge that you wouldn't get otherwise, in my opinion, that's the best investment possible because that's going to last you for your whole life. So I'm a huge fan of buying courses and paying for coaches and consulting and mentorships. There's so many people who are just a million times smarter for me. So if I'm able to give them a bit of money and get a bit of their knowledge and time back, in my opinion, that's an amazing investment every single time. If you actually pay someone to teach you to do a thing or teach you to make your company better, it lets you double your income. Like that is something that you can do for the rest of your life. Like if someone teaches you how to do outbound really well and how to get more clients with cold email and you learn how to actually get clients, you can give use those same principles to get clients for the rest of your life. That is something that will pay you back every single month, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And then the last thing that I really like spending money on, and this is one of my favorite things, because I truly think that this is what really makes or breaks a business in the long run. And for some weird reason, not a lot of people talk about it, is product development and client satisfaction. A lot of people just look at the game through the lens of getting more clients. How can I get more clients? How can I do better marketing? How can I get better at sales? But they never talk about product development. For example, why agentvelocity.io has been able to do really well compared to a lot of people in the market is because we actually actively spend a lot of time and money into building a better product. We have easily spent over $100,000 in building our product. And we have spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours making it better and better and better. We ask our customers what could be different. Was this good? Was this bad? How can we change this? And then tell us that uh, this should be this and this should be that. And then we just make it better and better and better. And the end result that it actually is a really great product that delivers really great results. Like in my opinion, it makes way much more sense to spend a lot of time and a lot of money once to build a really sick product and then that product and the results it generates you does the marketing and selling for you as long as you run the company because a lot of people they just like quickly whip out the product or quickly come up with a service and they're really shit at it and the service or the product doesn't really work so they have to spend the rest of their life just selling and marketing it because no one really wants to buy a bad product so that is really like being really product oriented especially if it's an information product or a consulting product or a technology product it makes a lot of sense and then in the same context if you run a service-based business spending money on making your service delivery process better and learning better skills to deliver a better service and buying better tools to actually deliver the service better it's pretty much the same thing so if you are able to get your customers better results usually you're gonna make way more money your sales are gonna be easier your marketing is gonna be easier your customer satisfaction is gonna be easier the positive word of mouth compounds against you so spending money on your client satisfaction on your clients and in the actual product or the service delivery process, it makes so much sense. Those are pretty much the three things that I spend money on. I know that if you're just starting out, you maybe don't even have clients yet, you might not have a product yet, or you might not have a team yet. So then I would just focus on buying knowledge and buying information, actually upskilling yourself, paying for experts to help you out with everything. And then when you finally start hiring some team and getting some clients, then really focusing on your service delivery process, what kind of stuff you're actually delivering them, making sure that their life is as good as possible, and also the same for your team. So how much you're paying your team, a bit of bonuses at the end of the year, making their life easier with better tools. And I truly think that if you just focus on those three things until you hit million a month, it's going to be the highest leverage way to invest the money as you can. If you truly enjoyed this video and you like this type of content, go ahead and drop me a like. And yeah, of course, the latest but not least, if you're looking to build a lead generation agency, you can also check out our company from the description below, agentvelocity.io, and potentially we might even work together. Thank you for taking your time and giving me your attention. It really means a lot. Take care. I'll see you on the next video.